It's the same example. I'm going to now follow my strategy and I will find the inverse for this matrix. I'm not going to, I will skip the computational side. Well, as you know, I upload my slides anyway on the, on the website, or on my website and on Moodle. If you won't be able to recover the arithmetic part of this, of this slide, you, will be able, you always will be able to download that PDF file and see the arithmetic. So look at this. If I'm looking at the inverse here, and this time I'm confident the inverse will be, uh, the matrix will have inverse. Uh, I have to build this matrix, build a large one, you see, A on the left-hand side and my identity on the right-hand side. I, I, I combining, I'm combining right now three augmented matrices in my abstract discussion on previous slide in one matrix like so. My objective is reducing this left-hand side to the reduced row echelon form. And I'm hoping that will be the identity matrix. I, I got the steps, all of them here, computational steps, but I'm not going to open them. If you, I will open the operations, the operations I did. I don't want to make you copy this. That's why I'm not opening this. Here's a set of operations I did to reduce this to this matrix. This is the reduced row echelon form. It perfectly fits the definition of the reduced row echelon form. But given that we have three pivots on the left-hand side, it is identity matrix. So our previous discussion guarantees that this right-hand side is the inverse we are looking for. So I just double copy this inverse here. And we do and we do a double check. Look at this. I'll do a double check. So if I want to so here's my identity. Here's my identity. This element of my identity. If I multiply, so if I multiply like so, if I multiply a a inverse and I'm checking this identity. Then I have to take, to check, to, to verify this element, I have to take first row in this matrix and the first column in this matrix. In fact, I strongly encourage you when you compute your inverses, every time you do that, you do double check because it's very intensive task. It's very likely you will make a computational mistake on the way. I do it all the time when I do my inverses, and you will do them as well. I mean, mistakes. So double check is always in order. I always do double checks when I compute inverses, and I encourage you to do that as well. So here's my double check. First column here, first row here, first column here. I have to dot product them. If I do that, it will be negative 40 plus 26 plus 15. No, sorry. <coughs> yes, negative 40 plus 26 plus 15. It is 1. Let's just double check this element. It will be dot product of these two vectors. It is 16, take 10, take 6, 0. Uh, now we're double checking this element. Uh, it's 9, take 6, take 3, 0. Normally, if you, if you check at least half of the matrix, that will probably be true, correct matrix. But sometimes we are very sophisticated typos, you just, you can't believe how we can make such a typos, you know. Nine out of 10 elements correct, and the 11th one, you know, sends you down. So you have to do double check. You have to, go, well, we, we, we can check on, and I encourage you to check in the other way as well. So I encourage you to check in this way. A, a inverse, oops. This way, for instance, this zero element, this way, I have to take last column here. And the first row here, let's just, let's just see that. Uh, negative 120 plus 48 and plus 72. Negative 120 plus 48 plus 72, it is zero. I'm going to do the rest of the double check, but because I know this is the correct one, because I computed, I didn't compute that actually, the software computed this for me. Uh, what I was meant to say is this actually, 
uh, if you forget about all this comp computational part of the question, you, you can't deny that this is really smart way of solving nine systems with nine unknowns. If you're just directly facing these nine equations with nine unknowns, with no this structural approach, I'll, I, I guess it, will, it, it won't take you three times longer to solve that system. It will, it will take you 33 times longer to solve that system. So you can't deny that the, even now you can see how effective, how powerful this Gaussian elimination method is if you put it in the right hands.